I will not cap. I think it's been like a week since I posted for good reasons, though. I, uh, I just started school back up and I was just trying to get settled down. But, you know, we back with this bitch. Also, recently, I don't know. I'm not going to turn this into no car channel. But recently, I got me a 240 SX Nissan. Do your research on that. I'm trying to upload this shit the same day I recorded it. So got to keep this short. Basically, our MC is just a nigga. He has the power of like changing into people or some shit, like taking over bodies and shit. And obviously, the nigga using it for bad use and shit because, well, obviously, he gets fucking caught. Remember my video when I was talking about Taboo Tattoo? Yeah, same shit happened. Basically, they beat the nigga ass and said, hey, come with us or else you die. I don't think they threatened to kill him, but pretty much that's what they said. He also got dumped by his bitch in the same day. That's kind of crazy. So basically, a lot of these starting episodes is just them going around hunting down other niggas with powers and recruiting them or just taking their powers and shit. I'm really not going to cover over all that shit because it's kind of just there. Not really too important to the story. I don't hate it, though. It's cool seeing this nigga get their ass jumped though i won't lie i kind of hated her at the start of the show but around the end she got a little respect so i can't fully hate it i'm just thinking from the mind of the mc i was like yo she literally just flipped this nigga whole life and now what i'm supposed to give a fuck about her they be doing this in anime a lot it's just like some some nigga some bitch come around literally fucks your whole life over but then you just start hanging out with them and now you're supposed to act like all is cool, right? Literally in like the same episode that should be happening. Anyway, here's where the anime starts to pick up. So basically MC has a little sister, she got sick. So instead of staying home, she went to school when her brother exactly told her not to. And guess what the fuck happened? This crazy bitch is trying to kill her because her man likes him or her. Then she ends up getting cornered and then obviously freaking the fuck out and using an ability. Boom, she's dead. Then we go into this little arc of this nigga just being depressed and shit. I don't really give a fuck, to be honest. But this is when I started respecting a girl from earlier with the silver hair. So my nigga was finna start doping it up. And she just kicked that shit out of his hand. Actually, I think that was cocaine. Now I'm looking at this fucking white shit. I guess my nigga was finna snort a line. Actually, good shit. You kicked that shit out of his hand. Because, hey, we can't be doing that here. I'm not anti-drug, but, you know, just don't do weird shit like that. Basically, she just pulled up, said, this nigga from spiraling down even though she was watching the nigga the whole time because i don't know if i said this her fucking ability is invisibility so she was literally there the whole time during this nigga depression and just now started to help and step in right before the nigga just snorted some crack honestly i think she just wanted the crack for herself anyway so mc ends up having a flashback and now he remembers when he was a kid well, he already still is a kid, but when he was younger, he was in the facility getting tested on because he had powers. The reason he forgot is because when he broke out, his older brother had his memories erased and shit. So now he meets his older brother. So basically his older brother, all he did was pretty much make everything. He made the organization that finds people's powers and shit because niggas with powers usually get killed off by like scientists who want to learn their shit also his ability is the time leap so here we learn something critical our mc did not have the power to take over bodies he had the power to take over bodies and take their ability with him so obviously the mc takes his older brother's power to go back in time and save his sister from dying to be honest i hated that i don't i, I actually hated that i feel like when his sister died and then uh the silver hair girl helped him get over it i feel like that was such a good moment but basically they just said nah fuck that i feel like bringing this nigga back it would have been better if they left it how it was to be honest leave the dead dead my nigga but obviously shit doesn't go that well a little bit after the silver hair bitch gets taken hostage and you know what MC does? He walks into that bitch and proceeds to quickly get folded. And I really hated this part because all, oh fucking God, this nigga scream is so annoying, bro. It's so exaggerated and loud for nothing. I'm just saying me personally in this situation, I'm not screaming. I'm thinking about fighting. Anyways, he tweaks out and uses his fucking power and destroys the place. Silver hair girl is cool, but he ends up killing his big brother's homie in the fucking process. So because this nigga lost his cool, he just kills off a nigga. Did I mention that this nigga got tortured before that? So the nigga got tortured, lived to tell the tale just to get killed off anyways, because some nigga can't control his anger. Anyways, some weeks after whatever, MC is going to go on a journey. Since he has the power to take other 
other people's powers. He just said, fuck it. I'm going around the world and taking every power. So the last episode is just this nigga going around the world, taking niggas powers. He look, he go a little crazy. Like this nigga went maniac. Um, it was kind of cringy, kind of corny. Anime ends with basically he did complete his mission. He stole every power, but he also lost his memories in the process. But he do get with the bitch at the end of the show. So I guess I can't hate it. And no, I have not watched the OVA. No, I do not plan on it.